This week on the show, we have American actress Aria Brooks, who stars in the musical drama High School Musical, the musical, the series. Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about the importance of understanding that building good habits is similar to building a muscle. Just like you go to the gym and train to strengthen certain muscle groups to get stronger, similarly, it takes the same discipline to build healthy habits. Just like building any muscle, which doesn't happen overnight, it takes time, dedication, and patience to keep strengthening that area over time. Similarly, building good habits whether it's to stop procrastinating or building discipline are essentially muscles that you have to keep working on over time to see it get stronger. For example, if you want to be more disciplined, then it takes strengthening that muscle by fighting laziness and training your mind to get up and take action even when you don't feel like doing it. Over time and with dedication, those muscles will grow and you'll become stronger in the areas you focus on because your mental fortitude increases by training those muscles to work to create new and healthy habits. As Natalie Messinat quotes, Positivity is like a muscle. Keep exercising it and it becomes a habit. Stay tuned. Coming up after the break, Olivia Rodrigo is also part of the cast. So how is it working with her and everyone else? Well, because she was on tour, I never got to be on set with her, but I did meet her on the red carpet and she was just so nice. Like I've been a fan of hers since I was eight or nine, like watching all of her stuff, listening to all her songs, everything. So that was like one of my top fangirl moments. Yeah. Um, and working with the rest of the cast was also big too. Cause like I said, I love the show and most of them, I kind of followed their careers before the show into the show as well. So meeting them and they're just so humble and down to earth and it doesn't feel like I'm talking to a celebrity. It feels like I'm talking to a friend. They're just, they're all the sweetest. Wardrobe provided by H&M. Next up on the show, we have American actress Aria Brooks. Aria stars in the Disney movie Better Nate Than Ever and has now joined the cast of the Disney Plus series High School Musical The Musical The Series alongside Joshua Bassett and Olivia Rodrigo. Aria, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing very well. I'm excited to talk to you. So your passion for singing and music and acting has led you to some great things. I know that you started musical theater at six years old. So tell us about that. Um, well, I've always kind of been into performing. Both of my parents are like mu music educators. So I've always taken dance classes, singing lessons and acting classes and musical theater. So I think that was a big part of my start doing musical theater from a young age. And since then it's kind of blossomed and I've turned it into a career. Mm -hmm. And what steps did you take to make singing and acting into a career? Like and were there any obstacles along the way? Um, there are definitely obstacles, still are. Um, yeah. So there have been a lot, but like for me, it was, I remember I got my first audition and it ended up being a scam. So we didn't go through with oh. that one. Yeah, so if they ask you for money up front, just know it's a scam, but it was, it didn't necessarily go well. They liked me, but we couldn't pay like thousands of dollars up front for it. And I knew, okay, I really want to, do an audition. So I kept going for open casting calls and getting headshots and like going, signing up for like the acting websites and things like that to get the start and get people to see me and notice me. Cause like having the talent, taking the classes, things like that is a good start, but getting people to know your name is a really great place to start as well. Yeah. And uh, the, the scams out there, there are so many with agencies, right? Yes. You really have to be careful and find the right agency. So I, I, that's just for our viewers, just a side note, because I, I went yeah. through the same thing when I started. And, you know, you go through some some not so good agencies, and then you finally find the right one, which, which right. is great. In Aria, you've landed some notable roles, such as Better Nate Than Ever on Disney, alongside Lisa Kudrow, the Nickelodeon reboot of All That. So what's been your biggest milestone to date and why? Um, I think there have been so many milestones, but I think Better Nate Than Ever um, was definitely 
like a really big one just because it like since the beginning of my career I was like okay I want to be a Disney kid I want to like star in a Disney movie or a Disney show like if if I wasn't asking for anything else that was the one thing I was striving for as an actor so to get better Nate than ever it's you know it's literally that so that was a really big milestone and really full circle yeah and did acting come naturally to you was that just something you always wanted to do or was it something you kind of had to develop um, it's a mixture of both. Uh, I think with anything, you could have all of the like given talent in the world, but you still have to work um, and still have to put in the work to get better because eventually you're going to reach a place where everybody has that talent. Everybody is where you are, so you have to continue to get better um, to excel. So I think there was a lot that came to me naturally because I was doing it all the time and my family performed and things like that, but the acting classes and the channeling it for TV and film and to do what I wanted to do, that was pretty important and something I had to pick up and learn. Absolutely. And let's talk about your role um, in High School Musical, the musical. Yeah, tell us about it. That's exciting. It's very exciting. It's been one of my favorite shows since it came out. So to say I'm a part of it is really exciting. Um, I play Alex in season three. So she's like an, an eighth grader who's coming to this camp with the Wildcats and she's super excited because she's a huge fan of theirs. Um, and she gets to audition alongside them. So I'm a recurring guest star. You can catch me in three episodes. One has already come out. My next episode comes out next Wednesday, episode five. And I'll also be in the finale. Ooh, very nice. And I did see that Olivia Rodrigo is also part of the cast. So how was it working with her and everyone else? Well, because she was on tour, I never got to be on set with her, but I did meet her on the red carpet and she was just so nice. Like I've been a fan of hers since I was eight or nine, like watching all of her stuff, listening to all her songs, everything. So that was like one of my top fangirl moments yeah. um, and working with the rest of the cast was also big too because like I said I love the show and most of them I kind of followed their careers before the show into the show as well so meeting them and they're just so humble and down to earth and it doesn't feel like I'm talking to a celebrity it feels like I'm talking to a friend they're just they're all the sweetest yeah I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing an uh, Aria Brooks and Olivia Rodrigo collaboration because I know you're a musician too, right? I Sing. definitely wouldn't mind either. So let's keep putting that in. <laughs> let's put that out in the universe and attract that because I can see that happening. <laughs> yes. And I was a big fan of the original High School Musical. Um, I grew up with it, would watch it over and over. So how does the new series kind of pay homage to the old one? Okay, so when I first before I even watched the show for the first time years ago, I was like, wait, is this gonna be like another reboot? Like a reboot isn't always, is not like a bad thing, but everything doesn't need to be rebooted. So I was like, okay, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this. I started watching it and was instantly hooked because it's not necessarily like they're trying to remake it. They're like in the world where High School Musical was filmed almost. So you'll see those High School Musical references in like the relationships and some of the lines. So High School Musical fans will love it, but it also brings drama and the music and other things. And it's a whole new show on its own. Yeah. So it pays like homage to it, but it's also like its own show. And I love that about it. Mm, very nice. Maybe we can see Zac Efron or <laughs> Vanessa Hudgens come back. I'm just saying. <laughs> yes, put that in the air as well. I mean, Olivia Rodrigo's there, so it's very possible. And I want to talk about your music. Let's talk about your song, Fairy Tales. What inspired that song? Well, Fairy Tales, I wrote it actually like while I was filming High School Musical, the musical oh. the series. And I remember just being in a very creative space and I wanted to write a song kind of about knowing my worth and knowing how I deserve to be treated by people in my life. So if you're not going to treat me the way I deserve to be treated, you don't deserve a place in my life. And I, fairy tales is kind of where that came about. I loved kind of the fairy tale theme, queen, castles, because my past projects, my past EPs, Castles Part 1 and Castles Part 2, both had that kind of theme to it. So it just the idea flourished from there. Mm -hmm. And where do you plan on taking your music and what would be your dream collaboration? Well, my music, I want to continue to write what I relate to um, because when I start creating content and creating songs that I relate to and I connect to, that's when people connect to it and gravitate to it. Um, so I want to continue to write what feels good for me. 
as opposed to feeling obligated to write something because that's what's trending or that's what's what people want me to. Um, so that's the biggest goal of my music. But I would love to work with um, Melanie Martinez because I think she's like her lyrics are so amazing. Her use of metaphors, things like that, kind of similar to my music. I'd love to work with Kalani. She's one of my mm. favorites right now. Um, there's a couple others, but those are the main two. Mm -hmm. And what inspires your music? How when you're when you're doing your songwriting, what, what kind of inspires you? Um, it could be several different things. I could watch a show that sparks something. I could someone could say something to me, and I'm like, oh, that would be a good song lyric. Or it just depends. But it's always something that happens in my life. Um, so if something happens to me, happens to someone I know, an emotion I'm feeling, I write a song about it. So I have a lot of songs that I would love to release that are about relatable topics and then ones that are very specific to me. Like when I dropped a plate of food and I wrote a song about it, like it could be, I write a song about everything. And that's inspiration, right? It comes from the most random places. <laughs> Even right. when people ask me, oh, what inspired this? I'm like, you know what? I, it just popped up in my head. Something happened and it just... That's the beauty of inspiration. It can come anytime, right? <laughs> yes. And when you're not working on set and on the big screen, I know that you're passionate about social issues. I know voting is one of the things you're passionate about. Um, you support a lot of different causes as well, like Stand Up For Cancer. But why voting? Let's talk about that and you know, encouraging young viewers to vote. Well, voting I think is very important. And although I can't vote yet, I think that's even more reason for the people who can vote for them to get out and vote um, because every vote counts. Like making a difference in your community, in your country, if there's something you want to say, something you want to do, but maybe you don't have the means to do it or the platform to do it or you feel like you don't, voting is the best start. Um, and for those who can't vote, volunteering. So when we all vote, I volunteered with them to give like give back to the voters and encouraging people to vote because that was something, of course, that I'm passionate about. So I think it's just important, whatever you can do. So even if you can't vote right now, volunteering, bringing like awareness to these issues so that the people who can vote are voting for the right causes. Mm -hmm. I have to say, you're like an old soul. <laughs> you're very mature yeah. for your age, and, and I love that. And you know, you, as Thank well, you. you also stand up. Um, you also support causes like Stand Up for Cancer and International Day of Tolerance. So, how would you encourage people to use their voice for change? Um, like I mentioned, there's a lot of times where you may feel like you're so small in a really big world, but that's not the case. If you have any type of platform, like for me, using my platform on TikTok and Instagram, now that I've kind of gained a following, speaking about it more, like talking about the things that are important, like human rights, like everyone deserves the chance, the opportunities that everyone else has. No one should feel like they're less than someone else because of who they are, who they love, what they look like, how their body functions, like things like that are so out of our control and people shouldn't feel discriminated against because of them. So it's very important that you educate yourself and educate others about these topics so we can continue to make a difference. Mm -hmm. I agree, especially voting. It's it's so important. Some people don't use, you know, that right properly and they don't vote. But voting is very important because you're part of change and you can actually influence that. And right. I like that, you know, even with social issues, you know, for our viewers watching, every little bit helps. Even social media, with, with social media, we're so lucky that we can, you know, put out a tweet, we can influence people and use our voice for change. So I love that you're doing that and I commend you for it because I think it's important. Thank you, I agree, it's very important. <laughs> yeah, and I created this platform to inspire, to uplift. So what advice would you have for someone that maybe hasn't found their calling, their passion, or they have and they're not seeing the results happen for them? They're putting in the work but not seeing results. What would you say to inspire them? Well, the biggest thing that I would say for if you haven't yet found your purpose, there's no time limit on it because everything happens for a reason and a season, like everything happens when it's supposed to happen. So. You can find what you're passionate about when you're eight, you can find it when you're 80. It doesn't matter. Whatever it's supposed to be, it's gonna touch somebody or touch multiple people when it's supposed to. So try everything, stick with one thing and realize, oh, maybe that's not my thing. It's okay. It's okay to experiment and try things out and feel it out to see what you're passionate about. But if you've already found your passion and you're lacking kind of the motivation, I've definitely been there. I can't say like, oh, well, 
motivate yourself and do this and whatever because motivation isn't always going to be there it's you have to stick it out and begin with the end in mind so think okay this is where i'm trying to get i know this is going to get me there so i have to stick it out no matter how hard it is how boring it is right now even though i'm not seeing those results i know this is going to get me to where i need to be so i have to stick it out and if you see like something's not working like don't keep like trying something you know isn't working but if you see something is not really working your way go a different way because you know that you want to reach your goal mm -hmm. yeah having the end in mind is always good because you see the vision in your head and nothing will stop you when, when there's obstacles that arise you have that end goal in your mind and you'll just keep moving forward so i like that a lot right <laughs> and you know it's, you have to keep inspiring yourself right even we all have days that we're not motivated we don't feel good um and you know it's just sometimes just telling yourself little things like today's going to be a good day and it is right it's just like right. just kind of like tweaking your mind and and kind of making it uh you know, work in your favor. <laughs> That's how you manifest, trick your mind into thinking something is one way. So telling yourself, oh, I got this, I'm already there yes. and we'll get there. Mm -hmm. And speaking of manifesting, I mean, you've manifested such great things. I mean, Disney Channel, big roles. So, so what is your process like? Do you have a vision board or what kind of um, personal development do you do out of curiosity? Well, I do have like a vision board. I make one at the end of every year. So like my well, yeah, I was gonna say, I thought there was a name for it, but vision board. Mm -hmm. And then throughout the year, if there's new goals, like sometimes I'll look back at vision boards or just the things I wanted to manifest. And I'm like, oh, I got that. Or, oh, I don't really want that anymore. I want that for myself, which is totally okay. So throughout the year, um, prayer is a big thing, meditating on it, healing crystals. Like I do a lot of like affirmations is the biggest way we can manifest without taking time out of our day or making it a whole chore. So just saying, I already have this. I already booked a lead role on a Disney series. I already booked this. I already have this. And it's going to come to you because you're believing that you have it. Ooh, very nice. I like that. <laughs> and Aria, what else is next for you? What are you working on? Well, I have like been in a very creative space like I mentioned so I've been making music and writing things still auditioning so right now is a bit of an independent period to see what is next but when that thing comes I'll share it to my social media like on Instagram TikTok Twitter at it's Aria Brooks so we'll see what's next for me I don't know yeah, big things ahead for sure. I know that 100% you have the drive, the talent, and I'm so excited to see what's next for you. And come back on the show and let us know as well. <laughs> I will. Thank you. Yeah, Aria, thank you so much for being on the show today. Enjoy your day and continue doing great things. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook. You can fly high